Uh, what is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, unfortunately, we've got some bad news regarding cross-platform play. And you wouldn't believe who's responsible for the bad news. Oh yes, it's Sony. We love Sony. They make such good business decisions. They are for the players. Oh man, it may seem like I'm hating on Sony like anything on this channel. But honestly, if they just were for the players and did things for the community and innovated their console, I wouldn't be so mad at them, okay? They've released a statement which I'm going to read out now regarding crossplay. So it says, on cross-platform, our way of thinking is always that PlayStation is the best place to play Fortnite. I believe partnering with PlayStation 4 is the best experience for users. That's our belief. Now, that's only half the statement and there's already many things wrong with it because he says Fortnite is best played on the PlayStation 4. Straight away, you are wrong. And even though I'm an Xbox player, it's not... Xbox where the best place to play is because it's PC. You cannot argue this point because PC has way better capabilities than both consoles and Battle Royale games are made for PC. What do all your favorite Fortnite streamers play Fortnite on? Probably PC, otherwise they haven't entered that market yet because it can be a bit more difficult, but if you want to be a better player and increase the skill gap, you go to PC. It's just the common sense thing to do if you're willing to take that step up. So straight away, he's already made a mistake in saying that PS4 is the best place to play Fortnite, and I know a lot of you guys might be thinking it is, but honestly, it's facts, and then the second best place to play Fortnite would still not be on PlayStation, it would be on the Xbox One X. Now, you guys might be arguing this, but yet again, it's straight facts, because the Xbox One X does 4K 60 frames per second, and the PS4 Pro only does 4K 30 frames per second or 1080p 60 frames. So there is a drop off there and it is a noticeable one leading Xbox to be the second best place to play Fortnite. And they do cross play with Nintendo Switch. So I don't know how you can believe that PS4 is the best place to play Fortnite because it is not. Maybe you have a large amount of players. But that doesn't make it any better because at the end of the day, on Xbox, the lobbies get filled up. On PC, the lobbies get filled up. So there's no difference. It's not like you can track how like other people's stats unless you go into the Fortnite tracker website, which is a bit ridiculous that you have to do that. Like, I want to be able to see other people's stats right there in game, like in Call of Duty. But no, you can't do that. So I don't know what this guy is talking about. And I've still got to read out the second half of his statement, which is a bit of one where you're going to roll your eyes because it's a bit vague and he's just trying to really make it better when it's just making it worse. Anyway, here we go. He says, But actually, we already opened some games as cross-platform with PC and some others. So we decided based on what is the best user experience, this is our way of thinking for cross-platform. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't bring up cross-play with PC when Xbox are doing it as well, and this has been happening for a while now, starting off with Rocket League, I think it's happening with Minecraft and a couple other games, or oh, it is happening with Fortnite, so honestly, why do you have to bring that up? Everybody knows that, it's just like you're trying to distract us from the bad news that you've just put out, saying that you're not going to be doing cross-play, like, do you want the community to buy the PS5? Because at the moment, I know a lot of people have switched from the PS4 to the Xbox One saying they had preferred the Xbox One. A lot of people in my comment sections, a lot of people watching this video right now will be that person. And because they've enjoyed their Xbox One more than they've enjoyed their PS4, it is likely they will go on to buy the next Xbox and not your PS5 because you have barely told us anything about the PS5. What good is the PS5 going to bring? I bet that the Xbox has the exact same, if not better graphics. Yeah, you'll still have your single player exclusive games. You might finally turn on backwards compatibility if you're smart enough to do that, but I'm sure Xbox will have that as well. And then Xbox, debatably, well, most people think this, but Xbox have the more comfortable controller, depending on your hand size and preference. I know if you've been playing the PS4 for a long time, you might think that the PS4 controller is better but you need to pick up an Xbox controller. Did you see that they just announced a PS4 controller that is in the exact same design as an Xbox One controller? How is this allowed? Xbox aren't out there doing PS4 
designed controllers. Xbox are out there making really cool designed controllers because they know that they have the better controller on the market. So this is getting ridiculous. Can we please just boycott the PS4? I'm sorry if you guys can probably dislike the video if you're not mad about this and you are actually for Sony and think that they're making good decisions because they aren't for the players. What are they doing that is for the players besides from these exclusive games? I'll give it to them, Spider-Man is a good one, but at the same time, Xbox cannot get Spider-Man because the Spider-Man series is owned by Sony. They, dev they made the Spider-Man film, so Xbox are never going to get that. And it's not like they've paid big money to get Spider-Man exclusive. It's just it's just going to happen. Have you seen the PS3 font? It is Spider-Man based. So there's no way that that's ever going to come across the Xbox. And I low-key hope that it flops. Just so Sony can ev get even more hate. Because they're not for the players. And it's really annoying me at the moment. And then, yeah, they don't do PS4 backwards compatibility. Because it's probably impossible. Otherwise, they would have done it by now. And there's nothing going for Sony at the moment. So, if you guys really... I, I, honestly, I'm speechless. I can't believe this. I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just probably going to have to end the video off here. Leave a comment. Honestly, just leave a comment. I need to hear what you guys have to say about this. Stay subscribed. Hit subscribe if you are new. Because we are aiming for 1.5k subscribers if I don't already have it by now. And we're going to be bringing out Fortnite tips and tricks. Call of Duty Blackout. Call of Duty tips and tricks best class setups it's all here so if you are new make sure to hit that subscribe button drop a like we're gonna aim for 40 likes I've actually said this pretty late in the video so I know a lot of people aren't gonna see it but 40 likes is the goal and I will see you guys on the next one peace